A lot can happen very fast. First, Iran announces a new coach, and now it's time for a friendly match. For today's episode, we will preview Iran's friendly with Uruguay, and we will examine the list of players called up by Carlos Queiroz. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Ellie Talk. For Carlos Queiroz, it is business as usual. Hey everyone, welcome back to Team Melly Talk. We know what is on your mind, so let's take a look at Iran's roster for the upcoming friendly matches. Starting with the goalkeepers, Ali Reza Beyranvand, Amir Abedzadeh, Hossein Hosseini, and Payam Niazman. Next, the center backs, Mortaza Purali Ganji, Hossein Kanani, Shoja Khaliazadeh, and Majid Hosseini. Next, the wing backs, Ramin Rezaian, Milad Mohammadi, Sadekh Moharami, Omi Nurafkan, Saleh Hardani, and Abul Fazl Jalali. Next for the midfielders, Saeed Ezatolahi, Ahmad Nurolahi, Esan Hajsafi, Omid Ebrahimi, and Milad Sarlak. Now the wingers slash attacking midfielders, Ali Reza Jahanbash, Saman Godus, Ali Gulizadeh, Methi Torabi, and Vahid Amiri. Last but not least, the forwards, Sardar Azmoun, Methi Tarmi and Karim Ansari Fad. Okay, I am not surprised by this roster because time is running out for Carlos Queiroz and he has no choice but to pick the best and most experienced footballers. It's nice to see Ramin Rezaian back because it means that Sadek Muharami will have to work harder to keep his starting spot. If there is one bit of criticism on my part, it involves the fact that Carlos Queiroz only called up three strikers. And my question here is, where is Shahab Zahidi? I mean, he's been playing very well lately in Hungary, and the injury to Alayar Sayarmanesh should mean that there is a guaranteed spot for Shahab Zahidi on Team Meli. Other than that, I'm really hoping to see Ali Reza Beranvand return to the starting lineup when Iran takes the pitch against Uruguay. Iran and Uruguay have only met on one occasion. And it was back in February of 2003 at the Carlsberg Cup in Hong Kong. Iran took the lead through Ali Samare in the 28th minute. What a cheeky back heel from Ali Reza Vahedi Nikbakht. But Uruguay equalized late in the match after a shot deflected off Yahya Golmohammadi. Iran would actually go on to lose 4-2 in a penalty shootout. I don't know what it is about Golmohammadi, but he seemed to have a habit for scoring own goals. The match against Uruguay will take place on September 23rd at NV Arena in St. Pulten, Austria. Okay, now for the irritating news. According to reports, it appears as if the match between Iran and Uruguay will be played behind closed doors. Once again, another specialty of the Iranian Football Federation, and I find this ridiculous because Team Melee fans should be able to watch their heroes play in person no matter where the match is played. As for the players to watch, this will be a good test for Iran because Uruguay is bringing some top quality footballers in Ronald Arojo, Matias Vecino, Rodrigo Bentancur, Darwin Nunez, and of course, Luis Suarez. This will be a very tough match for Iran, but we still need to take a look at our keys to victory. Number one, do not overcommit. Number two, wear down the Uruguayan midfielders. It is no surprise that Iran will have to capitalize on a counterattack or a set piece. Now, I'm not expecting a victory, but I am expecting a good performance from Iran. Now, what about you? What is your prediction for Iran versus Uruguay? Leave a comment down below. Always look forward to getting your input. The fact of the matter is that there will be plenty of pressure on head coach Carlos Quiroz. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that a loss will mean that the alarm bells will ring. All I'm saying is that a poor performance from Iran will definitely result in a lot of fuel being added to the fire. But having said all that, I am confident that Carlos Queiroz will have the boys ready to play. And I'm not expecting a lot of mental mistakes or errors like we saw in that friendly match against Algeria. I think that morale will be pretty high for Team Ali, especially if they're on the same page with Carlos Queiroz. And that's it everybody for this edition of Team Ali Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelitalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Meli Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. 
Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Melly Talk.